Hello Aries and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. This is your fortnightly reading for um, October the 16th through to the 31st. We have got a lot of big energies happening. We have a Libra, a new moon in Libra on the 16th and we have the full moon in Taurus on the 31st, which is also Halloween, which is quite an uh, uncommon occurrence. I think it happens a full moon in Halloween every 18 to 20 years. There's also a new moon, I mean, a blue moon, sorry. So it's the second full moon of the month. So <laughs> incredibly rare and exciting energy is coming through. So, but yeah, potentially testing and turbulent, we never know. So let's have a look. This is a general reading for you, Aries. We've got the Ace of Wands come out. There you are straight away, crossed by the King of Swords. The Empress, the Three of Wands, the Magician, there's a lot of you in this Aries, the Six of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, the Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Nice. So, yeah, I was going to say this is a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. There is also an extended reading where we'll look further into the future and look at the energies in more depth and get some more meanings and information. At the bottom of the deck we have the Ten of Swords. So that link to that, I'd love it if you came over for the extended. The link to that is in the description box below. And if you're enjoying this reading, please like, subscribe and leave a comment, Aries. So let's see. Oh, you've got two animal spirit cards have come out. We've got snake and nightingale. Wow. Okay. Gosh, a lot of interesting energy coming through. So I'm going to start the reading with a message from this new deck of cards that I've got called Brian Froud's Fairy Oracle Cards. They're not new, new, they're new for me, but they've been around for a while. Uh, you may be aware of them, but they're uh, to be, they're not tarot, but they're to be read intuitively. So I'm going to pull out what message do you have for Aries? Fairies? <laughs> that rhymes. Aries, fairies. Okay, what message do you have for Aries? sort of wait for the right message to come through for you Aries some of them are trying to pop out to chat to you but oh, here we go finally finally we have a card and it is oh the Raz number 52 look at that you are just a ball of energy about to take off you are just like oh my gosh I think the whole world is following you Aries at the moment you are leading the way in terms of, oh, it's just this amazing ball of energy. Wow. Okay. But for some of you, there's the initial burst of energy that's come out and then it's kind of a, I just, I, I do I have enough energy? I might just need to take a little break for a moment. I'm losing steam. So there could be a case of just feeling like you're losing a bit of steam for the moment because you're carrying quite a lot, carrying quite a heavy burden in terms of this vision that you're bringing into the world because you are kind of like, you know, you're the start of the zodiac and I feel like with these new energies that are hitting the earth at the moment, you've kind of been charging forward and you are leading the way but it's like you had, again, you just need a little bit of rest time. You need some time to regather and rejuvenate your forces and your energy coming through here. But yes, there is a responsibility to bring in some new vision that's coming through here. So it's still there. It's still really powerful. It's still something very close to your heart. But yeah, it's just um, take some time. Make sure you don't burn out, Aries, is the message there with that. Because it's very important what you're doing at this moment in time. You are on the right path. So the Ace of Wands crossed by the King of Swords. This is this wonderful new energy coming through for you. The Ace of Wands, this new desire, this new goal, this new motivation to be wanting to be doing this. But then you're crossed by the King of Swords, which is actually, um, you know, really positive. There, But the, the King of Swords can sometimes dampen the fire. And that's kind of what we're getting with that is that he can come in and be very strategic and very much in his mind and very much, oh, you need to think about this. You need to make some decisions about it. You can't just rush forward. And that can kind of douse the airy spirit a little bit, this energy. So this could be someone coming in and just kind of um, being very practical and rational. 
or it can also just be a part of you that is kind of slowing you down a little bit, slowing the forward movement. Now, I'm just being told that if that's what's happening, it can be frustrating for you. I know Aries, but the thing is, this is because the universe doesn't want you to burn out. So if someone, you could potentially get annoyed with this person, but the universe is like, if you were charged straight ahead, of course, you think you can do it for sure. But the amount of, and the frequency of the energy of this vision, this new energy that's coming through for you is so high. The universe is just managing it for you um, to make sure that you can um, handle it. Uh, so because it is like at a frequency that's kind of, you know, as humans, we're not necessarily used to. So, you know, the conscious mind is the empress and this is what, you know, you're bringing in this wonderful expansion, this abundance, this uh, fertility to the world as well, this incredibly fertile place. It's, um, you know, also the energy of Venus and it can be the energy of love, bringing in more love. So, but it's also reaping the harvest, but it's really wanting to see an expansion in your world. Bringing, it's not just for you. I feel like it's for, like, it is motivated by you, but it's for the greater good as well. So, yeah, it's this beautiful energy that either you're embodying this or you're wanting to bring this in to the world or this is what you're feeling and seeing at this moment in time. For some of you, it, it could be wanting to expand your family, wanting to have more children. This is how it could manifest. For others, it's just simply wanting to do more, create more in the world, participate more. So it's kind of um, got that energy to it. The three of wands, again, you are topped and tailed by two threes. The three is the number is the empress and the three of wands is at the base of your reading. So the three represents manifestation which is happening big time and it's actually happening on a deeper level for you as well. So you're going to start seeing, if you're not already, and some initial results here, Aries, some initial success that's coming through here. Um, things that you might have sent out are coming back with results. Uh, but there's also, I'm just getting the word primed for success. So this three, the Ace of Swords, the Empress and the Three of Wands are just like a winning combination. It's, it's very successful. Deep down, you are bringing in this success on a conscious level. You're wanting it to be higher and bigger. And the Ace of Wands is this wonderful directive energy. The King of Swords is the only thing that's slowing you down at this moment. Now we have at the magician, at the, at the recent past, we have the magician. So this is very much... Uh, just having the confidence to actually go, bang, I can see that this has got limitless possibilities. This could just be amazing. So it's like, bang, I'm going to start. I've got what I need. I'm just going to do it. So the magician is the alchemist. He's also the manifester as well. So there's um, all this beautiful, wonderful, magical manifestation energy coming through for you. So we have in the near future the Six of Cups and this is happiness coming in. Um, this is uh, happiness and stability around the home as well. It can be just stepping back for a moment and enjoying the small things in life, um, enjoying basic tasks, enjoying spending time with children, enjoying, you know, just um, very mindful energy of just stepping back into the ordinary almost and that is kind of the energy that, they're wanting you to feel very grounded so that you can, otherwise all this other energy is so motivated and motivational and fiery and hot. It's good to make sure you've got a place that you can go back to and a place of happiness and replenishment here. And that is showing up here as a place, especially around your home. So if your home is not somewhere where you're feeling that, then it could be a good time to be bringing this energy into that home arena. Now, interesting, speaking of home, this is what you're presenting as the five of pentacles. So it's actually interesting that you've got all this positive energy and abundance, but then you're presenting as this five of pentacles in that you can't see it or that you're feeling like it's not coming fast enough or you're feeling like you're not getting anywhere or you're feeling like you're being overlooked. 
And this is actually just what might be right in front of your eyes, your perception at the moment of what could be happening in front of you. But this is actually not what's happening on a higher level in your life. So if you're not seeing this abundance, you're not seeing and experiencing this at this moment in time, it is there. So this five of pentacles energy is really a poverty of consciousness. It's being left out in the cold. And that's why we're kind of getting that thing that if this is how you're feeling, it's because you're burnt out. It's because your energy has been taken, the energy of disappointment or not moving forward has been taken too much out of you. And so they want you to repeat the universe wants you to replenish again because there's all this amazing energy around you. So if you're not seeing it and not feeling it, it's because you're shut off from it. You're, you don't have the energy because you need a lot of energy to actually step into this energy here. Like I said, it's very um, strong. It's very hot, fiery, high vibrational. So if you're not in a right position and um, mindset and place physically and mentally to open to receive to this, you're not going to see it, but it's definitely there. It's definitely there. So we have um, in the near future, I mean, no, sorry, in the energy surrounding you, the hanged man. And this is kind of, you know, it's a funny place to be, Aries, because last week it was all, last time it was all about you get what you want. So you're propelling forward. Then suddenly it's like, oh, but you're not going anywhere. The universe wants you to slow down for a moment and just be in a space so that you can get your head together, so that you can regain your wisdom, so you can regain your energy, so you can regain the right perspective. Because if this is what you're seeing, you're not seeing all the abundance around you. So you might be feeling like things are suspended, that things are stagnant, things not moving forward at this moment in time. And that is because the universe is wanting you to recharge. That's simply all it is. And yeah, um, hopes and fears, the page of swords, you are wanting to move forward. You are wanting the go ahead. You are wanting the news, the information that says, yep, time to move on, time to move forward. So you're kind of there waiting expectant ready for it as well um, so it's really interesting that in the near future we have the queen of pentacles which is very much finally you the queen of pentacles is pretty much everything that's in this reading kind of come together in the right way so if you're feeling really burnt out the queen of pentacles looks after herself but she also manages to hold on to her abundance and to feel the abundance and see the abundance and see look after her career and her money as well so she kind of has it all it's not one or the other it's not like oh I have to have this brilliant idea but I have to burn out she's saying no I can do both at once and so I can sit on my throne and make some really wonderful decisions work out how she works very well with the empress she's like the little sister like the human version of the empress the empress is more of a like a higher consciousness energy more of a goddess kind of energy or God divine energy really, whereas the pentacles is very much how you're feeling in your human everyday world. And so you'll be feeling a lot happier, a little bit more in control of what's happening with your body, your health, your finances, and with where this um, goal and the state of abundance is. So that's actually really positive. And you know, she, re she reaches that stage because she looks after herself, the queen of pentacles, and that has very much been the message all along for you, Aries, because we have as an overall energy, the Ten of Swords, and look how exhausted this person is. They're just collapsed. Something has finished as luckily this energy, this cycle has ended. Something has ended. It's taken a lot out of you, but it's ended and the darkness is leaving and a new dawn is rising. So yeah, it's so positive, Aries. But yes, like we said, it's impossible to rush straight into that number one, that ace energy without processing this first and recovering. So there does feel like there needs to be some time for rest and recovery coming up. So it's interesting because um, we have the completion of the cycle here with the snake and also sitting next to the nightingale. And you can see, I feel like, you know, it's the completion of the cycles around the full moon. So on the 31st is when you will feel, start feeling good again, uh, which is, oh, well, it, it's when um, you'll start feeling like you've got something beautiful to express. You start seeing the beauty in the world again. 
you're actually the nightingale is the most beautiful sound on the planet. And so it's reconnecting back in with the magic inside you pretty much and feeling that and reconnecting in with the magic of the universe and feeling that and also sensing that there's something really amazing about to birth into your life here. There really is. You're bringing in this wonderful new energy, but it's a bit more of a, um, it's stepping out of the divine masculine, trying to push, push, push and make something happen and stepping into the more into a divine feminine energy where you're nurturing yourself and you're open to receive. And it's once you're in that state where there's a nice balance between the two of them, uh, that's when the opening can come and the receiving can come. So it's um, just kind of getting you in the right space, really, Aries, for this to progress and move forward. So I hope that makes sense and resonates with you. We're going to go over to the deep read now, so I'd love it if you could come over and we're going to look at it at the future beyond this. We're going to get some more information, uh, see what else comes out. Sometimes it's um, very new information that comes out as well and scratch below the surface and find out what's going on. Let's look at a bit more of this abundance coming in for you. I'd love to see what more that what that is. So yeah, the link is in the description box below. If this is where you're leaving me, Aries, and we're leaving each other, thank you so much for joining me. If this resonated and you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Uh, I will share, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.